Hey, I'm Big Lou, and this is Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And what we're going to do today is make a little side dish for, you know, like pulled pork sandwiches or barbecue beef sandwiches or burgers or whatever. Uh, we're going to make uh, homemade corn chips. It's really easy to do. You don't need a lot of ingredients. You know, these are kind of like the uh, Frito things, small f. I don't want to get in trouble with anything, you know. Frito is just a Spanish word for fried as an adjective and as a noun. It just kind of means little fried things, all right? So they're kind of that style. All right, need just a few ingredients. We're gonna fry them up. They're delicious when they're homemade because they taste fresh, you know? Like popcorn that you just popped tastes better than popcorn that you'd buy already popped in a bag or in those tin cans or pork rinds. You know, if you fry them at home, they taste better than they do in the bag. These things taste good, y'all, and you don't need very many ingredients. Let me show you. I got the oil heating up over here. Chef Alarm's gonna tell me when it's ready to go, and we're gonna fry these up. They're delicious made at home. Real easy, too. All right, let's talk about the ingredients and uh, the equipment you're going to need. You need something to dry them on, some kind of sheet or something. I like to use this little microwave bacon cooking thing. I put a couple paper towels there, and then they uh, dry on that after they're fried. Okay, you need a mixing bowl. You need something to mix with. Just going to use a spoon here. All right, and um, you need... Um, something to squirt them out of. I use this beef jerky gun with that flat nozzle right there. So they're a little bigger than, you know, the normal size corn chips you would buy in the bag at the store. Uh, you can use um, one of these uh, cookie press dough things. You can use one of those icing things. If you have one of those where you fold the stuff up in the paper and you got a nozzle that's flat like that. All right, and the ingredients. All you need is cornmeal, salt. You got a cup of cornmeal, teaspoon of salt, and some hot water. So that water right there is at, um, well, I had the thermometer on. 173, 177. That'll be hot enough. 190 is probably a little better. But what we're gonna do is um, just dump the cornmeal into the, box, into the bowl here, like that. Dump the salt in there. And the water, you need enough to make a paste, all right? How much water do you need? Uh, I don't really know. I've got a few ounces here. Don't probably not gonna need that much. Just want to mix this into a paste. All right, but you got to have that water hot, and it activates the uh, starch. Oh, that water is hot, man. Activates the starch in the cornmeal. I'm sorry about what's in the back over there. My dog decided this would be a good time for him to eat. So he's, you see, we're just kind of making this a paste. But that water's got to be hot. If you don't, the, the starch in the cornmeal doesn't really work well. A little bit more. But if I add too much, I'm going to have to add more cornmeal to this. Let's see what we got here. Just mix that in the paste, just like that. Real easy. Let's go get it a little bit wetter. And that might be too much. Actually, I think that's going to be perfect. Just make a paste like that. You see, it's, it's kind of a paste and it can kind of form into shapes. That's what you want, right? Like that. All right. All right, the chef alarm is saying that it's between 325 and 350. It's climbing up there. It's going to be at 350 real soon. Let's get the gun loaded up and we'll get these things in this grease. I'm using uh, corn oil because it's corn chips, but you could use any kind of oil you want. So all I'm gonna do is just take the paste right here and this jerky gun. It's cool enough now where I can touch it. But you see, you can kind of form it. And you can see stuff's already fried. Just gonna pack it into this gun like that. Pack it all, just pack it all down into the gun. And that means we're at 350, so we gotta get frying quick. All right. That alarm will go off. Uh, let me get this gun on there. We'll go down once these things start frying because it'll cool it off some. All right. Now. There we go. Let me turn it off. Turn 
your grease down a little bit. Let them fry up like that. And I'm out, so I need to make up another batch. I've got the ingredients all ready to go right off camera there. You want to keep them from sticking, and these aren't quite as pretty as I wanted, so I'm going to do another batch here for you in a minute. And um, But they're, they're getting kind of crispy, and we just let them fry. Well, I don't know if you can hear that. You hear that? When they sound crispy, they're ready. So let's get them out of here. Just let them sit in this thing and dry. And I got another batch ready to go. No, they're not as pretty as, you know, ones out of a bag, but they're good and they'll be crunchy. By the way, I'm cooking on an induction stove here, so I've got some parchment paper under my pot. Helps with stove cleanup and splattering whenever I fry foods. I'll usually use um, parchment paper under the pot. Don't do that if you don't have an induction stove, though. All right, I'm going to let those sit right there for a minute, and then we'll dump them on that paper towel. I'm going to pack this jerky gun. Um, right now it's corn chip gun uh, with more paste and uh, this cornmeal paste and get another batch fried up. Watching my temperature over there on the chef alarm, and it's coming back up to 325, going a little higher than that, so it's time to get these onto the plate. Just like that. You can hear that they're crispy, okay? You can hear they are crispy. You hear? And they're delicious, and they make a great little side dish. You know, if you don't want to cut up fries or something, these are easy to make. And um, they taste even better than the ones in the bag. Why? Because these are fresh. Get the gun down to where it needs to be. I think I can probably do it like that and mash it down. Now, oops, they're curling up on me. There you go. Just like that. Find some room over there, some room over there. Want to keep them from sticking without breaking them apart. And that's about it. And that little bit crumb right there will go in there. And that's two batches. All right, second batch is done. You can tell when they're crispy like this. We'll go ahead and pull them out of here. Let them dry a minute. And uh, see, those kind of broke up, but that's all right. They all taste good. They really do taste good. And um, I'm gonna have some of these as a side dish to a turkey sandwich. That's gonna be my dinner tonight. Got some leftover smoked turkey in the fridge. I'm gonna make a turkey sandwich. And I was just frying these up to um, have a little side dish to go with my turkey sandwich. And I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and get a video done of homemade corn chips. Maybe people don't know how to do this, but man, they really are good. And you can dip them in stuff. And that's one reason I like using a jerky gun because you see they're a little bigger than the regular um, Frito ones, you, and they make good, you can dip them in salsa, you can dip them in cheese sauce, bean dip, or you can dip them in just regular potato chip dip, like sour cream and onion or something, all right? Whatever you decide to dip them in, they, they do a good job with that too. So anyway, this is uh, my side dish to a turkey sandwich I'm about to eat with leftover turkey. Well, there's two little batches of them right there. Uh, you probably can't see too well. Let's look like that okay and back up here uh, my son's already been into a few of them I've had a few of them but they're crispy see I'll show you get two of them they're crispy all right they're really good and if they're you know the bigger ones here like this with that jerky gun they're good for dipping and stuff anyway well that one's still hot mmm there's that crunch Can you hear the crunch? I can hear it. These are really good. About to serve me a turkey sandwich and homemade Frito style corn chips. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.
Oops, I almost forgot. Chili, homemade chili. These are great in, in and on and with homemade chili.